decide which way I want to lead and Yeah, because it might be pretty cool for, uh, well, if I have you on my right, because I'll have paint cans, okay. maybe a hundred I don't get so much attention if I do it back home. <laughs> <laughs> Came out today. Um, the music's not too loud for you. Just wondering. This is interesting. Thank you. I'm um, glad you got to drink on your first assignment. Yeah. Well, I'm the <laughs> Very <boss>. cool. <laughs> so, uh, can I have you introduce yourself? Do I look at you or the camera? Uh, me. I am Kenny Shore. And uh, you've been painting pretty much your whole life, right? Yes. What, uh, why did you start painting? What was it about that medium that... It was a fun thing to do in nursery school. Finger painting, that's how it started. And you basically, like, it says, like, from your bio, you've kept up the same approach to art your whole life. Well, you know, definitely my themes have been the same since I was a little kid, yeah. Uh, I don't think I thought about it as what I am or what I do until I was a little older. Well, maybe not. I think I pretty much have been just like on the same track all the time. And uh, I was just in at Miami for Art Basel this year and your stuff is in like the... Wynwood. Yeah, Wynwood and then you had a gallery show yeah. and, and I saw some stuff in Basel itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're out here doing cars today. Uh, why Car bombs. I, yeah, tell, tell me about this project. Uh, well, it just started on its own. Um, I was doing a mural uh, in Alabama, in Mobile. Somebody pulled up and said, hey, can you paint on my car? Okay, I painted on her car, and then I was living in New York at the time, and I got back, put it on Instagram picture, and said, hey, bring me your car, I'll do your car. And then it just started happening, and then whoever I painted their car, I put that on Instagram, and it just kept snowballing. I've done almost 200 cars already, um, and it's free, absolutely free. Um, it's just something uh, I'm, I'm doing, like public, like I do the murals, public art, I don't charge, so I look at it as kind of a public art project. And how does that fit into uh, you as a fine artist as well, because you do so, you do work It fits in, in fine for me, I'm not sure how it fits with uh, certain people in the business, but I can't be worried about that too much. I have to just do my thing. Uh, but there is a conflict, you know. Is there a conflict? Well, in some, it could be, yeah. I don't charge. Uh, I don't, I don't do them for, I get asked to do them for auctions and stuff. Well, I know I don't want to do it for auction because that means someone's paying for it. I don't want money attached to it. So if I don't, I'm making art that it has no money attachment, it is a little conflict to the gallery, um, world of art and money are obviously combined. So, so why do it? Because I believe in um, art for art and I believe that I would like people to look at art uh, as something really worthy uh, to care about whether it's worth money or not. Because it seems like people put the value of the art these days towards how much it costs. So I'm as an artist, I find that um, kind of demeaning, and I'm working against that. I want to bring art for art. 
I'm not against art for money. That is how I make my money. But I just want the focus to be on art and not the focus to be on money. That's not why I do the car bombs, but it's part of it. Um, and can you like, can you tell me about uh, how many cars are you doing today? I don't know. This is my second. Um, you get really into it physically too when you're painting. For sure, uh, especially this kind of painting. Doing the spray painting uh, and the murals is very um, uh, body, you know, it's gestural. You, you move your whole body. You have to make a movement from start to finish. If you waver, it'll, it's a bad, it's a line, you know, it looks bad. So it is very much uh, a physical thing. It's almost like dance. That's one of the reasons why I really like to have music going on. It helps me into the rhythm um, movement. Cool. Um, um, we're going to watch you paint. Is it cool if we keep the mic on you and maybe I'll throw a couple questions your way while you're working? Well, fine. I'm probably going to have the mask on most of the time. That's okay. Put it on. It'll sound like Darth Vader. That'll be kind of cool. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Why Tucson? Because uh, they asked me. <laughs> have you been here before? I go anywhere. Yeah, I have actually. Um, you should check out the Pima Air and Space Museum. I painted uh, a whole jet. It's out there. Yeah, that one's awesome. Oh, so been, you know yeah, I've been here. I've been out there. Um, I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, do you do you like it here, or do you just? Is I love just... it here. It's beautiful. I love nature. I love the desert, and I'm so into the saguaros. They're incredible. I mean, they're just physically amazing things. And I'm gonna go hiking tomorrow. So cool. So Tucson's Tucson's cool. There's a lot of cool people. There seems a good vibe going on here. Cool, man. Thank you so much. They want car bombs. Right?